want to thank Lou, Giuliani, and Mary Rivaldi for keeping the Twin Dragon name going, to keep the club going. Hope it goes on forever. It's a happy 50 for Martin and I. We, we did the first of everything. Check it out on the website. We're not done yet. There's a Ford Trilogy movie coming out, the last one called Mick. We'll have it out by next year. So Martin and I are doing fine. We're in good shape. The Twin Dragon Way has worked for our members, thousands of members. It's worked for everybody, including the twins. The Twin Dragon Way works. years I don't know does it feel like a hundred or does it feel like 20 it's mixed emotions that's for sure but it did go by fast and my brother and I started at Wong's karate we got our black belt so it wasn't a proud moment for us we were embarrassed we accepted it as an art at 12 years of age we accepted it as an art kept us off the streets kept us focused and somewhere to go something to do if you didn't do that you turn into a bum or a hooligan, or a good for nothing. We are here at Lou's Club Twin Dragon Kickboxing here at the Danforth. 50 years sweat and blood and passion. And I'm so honored to be here on behalf of This Is Your TV. And even as a Twin Dragon student, I was very fortunate enough to uh, train with Martin. And I'm forever grateful he was like a second father to me. And now we're just going to take a sneak peek on Lou. 50 years of twin dragon sweat and blood and all passion, buddy. It's all you. Just tell us. You got me thinking. To you. you got me thinking here. 50 years. Wow. That's take been, it over. This is a, it's been a heck of a ride. I, I started martial arts at the age of 15. I started in karate. I had a blue belt in karate. And by the age of 18, I realized that we all heard because the twins were opening up their school. So this is uh, Mayor the owner here at Twin Dragon Woodbridge. Um, and Mayor, how do you feel? How do you, how do you feel being part of Twin Dragon and how has it been with your club here and the founder that started it all? Well, Twin Dragon is uh, actually my first martial arts school and my only martial arts school. So I've been at this close to four, I think 40 years coming wow. now, right? Yeah, you went through puberty. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, uh, it's their 50th, it's my 40th. Uh, been through thick and thin. We put the gyms together, we took them down. We watched a lot of people come and go. A lot of faces came through the door and uh, and I think we changed a lot of lives in the, in the process. And they were already known through the community that they were the best in martial arts. Uh, I did, at 18 years of age, I joined their organization. I was one of the first students to join Twin Dragon, uh, being taught by uh, the identical twins, Michael and Martin McNamara. It was a, it was a great honor. Uh, I feel that I was taught by the best martial artists in Canada, if not the best in the world. I, uh, I started uh, my training with them at the age of 18 uh, in 1972. And uh, at the age of 33, I think I was, yeah, I was 33 years old. I got my red sash. And the same year, I opened up my location, Twin Dragon East on the Danforth, where I'm still here teaching till this day. Uh, what can I say about 50 years? 50 years with my brothers, while well, the best in, in, the, in the sport, uh, the people who, uh, uh, this is their name. They're the founders of Twin Dragon. Andrea and I were students, we are students. Uh, I think it's like three decades that we've been uh, doing this and I just want to say the minute I walked into St. Clair and I saw Martin is the same man he is today humble very respectful uh, I treat him like my second father and I'm so proud to be here and today we're going to hear a little bit about you know how it feels to have 50 years of success and trying to keep the tradition alive with all the kids classes that we do here and hopefully uh, we can leave a legacy behind. It's always been an honor to be around you even from when I was younger I remember you were so inspiring for, for young kids to kind of get their, get their, you know what, together. And you don't get a lot of that nowadays, so this is like, this is an OG right here. So I think everyone should show that respect. And we're just honestly humbled to be here and we're really proud to just be part of it. I know I haven't been around much lately, but it's always in my heart and I'm always, anytime I can give back in any way, 
happy to do so. And Martin, it's been amazing and I hope everything goes well. I've kept it alive all these years and it's been successful only because we've had a great following. And I've been successful, it's because I took over a McDonald's franchise. I took over a name that was well known, Twin Dragon, it's a stand up name. And I basically took over uh, one of their locations and I built it and I, and I worked hard at it to make it Lou Giuliani, to make it my organization now. So the students would follow me in the same footsteps that I followed the twins. That's what's happening uh, up to today as the kids were following in my footsteps. Anyways, we owe it all to the fans, to the people that always support us. Every time we put on shows, everybody supports us. Why do they? But well, they believe in it. They believe in the name. They believe in the twins. They worked hard. They worked, worked hard to get their name out, to build that reputation that they have. So for me, that's a hell of a, a day for me. 50 years, I am so happy, okay? I'm so proud to be able to say that I've been with them since day one. Now, I am just a student. I am just a messenger because I was training with them as a student and they were my instructors. But I am so proud to be able to reach 50 years with two of my best friends, my brothers, Michael and Martin McNamara. Thank you very much for bringing this sport and keeping it alive all these years. I owe it to them. Thank you very much. I always got to stay positive because uh, positivity is what we need in life. We, there's going to be, they say, if you don't fail, you're never going to succeed. So uh, uh, that's what it is. In terms of Martin and I, it's, it's been a lot more than just, uh, you know, it's, it's been a lot more than training. It's been life. I mean, my father passed away years ago. I, and it's been hard, but you always have a replacement. Uh, you don't always have a replacement. I, I was lucky enough to have mm -hmm. one, put it that way. So uh, he's always been there before and after, put it that way. And, and I like to feel I'm the same way with him. Yeah. So awesome. it's been, uh, it's been a, a strong relationship and it's, uh, it's gonna be there. It's gonna be that way to the grave. Absolutely, yeah. awesome. So Twin Dragon was keeping a lot of people grounded, right? And we helped a lot of people. And it was fun, it was crazy, it was wild, and I'm getting older, not old. I'll call myself old when I'm 80. But people still look at me, and I can still do a thumb push-up. I wake up in the morning excited and happy, brush my teeth, gargle with Drano, and I'm ready to go. I decided to take this to another level and joined the amateur ranks. And uh, I joined amateur kickboxing. And in 2007, I was uh, voted coach of the year, uh, the most winningest uh, school in the province of Ontario. I produced a couple of champions. Uh, Roger Ying, a light lightweight champion, Canadian champion, came from my school. Jason Baptiste, middleweight champion of Canada, came from my school. And of course, we have to honor Rico Tatangelo, a hell of a champion. Chantal Bedon McNamara, wow. You've got to think about the best fighters in the world. This is it. These are, these are the fighters, Paul Beaufort. You know, two champions of this sport. People that deserve the limelight. Not to mention guys like Vince Caristo that are not on my wall. Uh, Frank Barbero that fought. Michael Reed that fought out of our club. There's, a, there's been a lot of uh, good fighters, great champions. But this is my wall of fame. And what do, I, what do I tell people, the young generation? Well, first of all, find your dream. For me, it was, I didn't think I was going to be in this sport for 50 years. I just started training because I wanted to stay fit. I wanted to get away from, from the neighborhoods that I was in, uh, coming to this country from, from nothing. I just uh, I wanted to work out, and then I, I felt that working out gave me that advantage over people. When I went out, I always felt good. I always looked my best. And uh, 
the most important thing is if you're going to belong to something, be loyal, stay loyal. You just can't go from place to place, for, from club to club. Find something that you, you love. Find a club that you really want to be with and stick with them through the ups and downs. Stick it out. Loyalty is very important. And uh, hey, I'm loyal to the Twins and I'm loyal to my family. You know, thank you very much for this interview, guys. It's been a slice. It's a different time, it's a different era, but that's Mario's job now. He's got 20 years left. Lou's ready to retire. But you know something? It was a good ride. And uh, it was a great ride. Nobody had more fun and more stories than my brother and I. I mean, he attracted some of the craziest, funniest people going. And I think, you know, it was like food. We added to their lives. Right. And uh, a lot of people were grateful, which is good. But it's not about the fighting. It's about staying healthy and staying in shape. And Mick and I can, can say, you know, we're going to outlive most people. <laughs> right? Mario, every day, but, well, but you're 50? Well, you're 60-something? Oh, my God. What are they, what, what's in the water up there? It's called Twin Dragon water. <laughs> right? But, like I said, it was a great ride. Amen.